All right, guys, I can confirm that middle mouse button is not any key, nor is it a mouse button. Let's try. Oh, I have a number pad over here. Okay, we're going to see if any key actually works. It does! In the disputed countryside between Normandy and France, a smoldering farmstead gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. At the head of the vast army stood King Louis of France himself. An English scout hastily rode to inform King Henry of England, who was still en route to defend his borders. Hearing of the threat, villagers and guards fled their English-held towns and retreated to the stronghold of Fleury. Retreat! Oh, look at this, yeah. That's Above not good. all, the English forces in Normandy had been commanded to hold the town of Fleury and await King Henry's arrival. Mm. I don't have much money. I assume that all these places are going to get wrecked, right? Let's see. I'm going to... Do I try to defend? Because this place has workers. And it can... No, that's an arsenal. Never mind. It doesn't have a command center, I don't think. Which means that I can't build more workers from it, so I'm not sure that I care about it. I have no idle workers, which is good. Here are these beautiful ladies. Let's get them over into Fleury. As the village of Pressenville fell, all English hopes lay in holding Fleury for the king's arrival. Alright, this is definitely a time defense mission. I'm not going to get cheeky about it. I'm not going to try to hold things that I'm not supposed to. I'm just going to pull back, get this set up, see if I can hit some of these early attackers, take them out, lower the damage, but not try to hold the position. We're cavalry anyway, so it should be pretty easy. What are these? Horsemen, wild oak tree. Got it. So I probably want to build a lot of static defense, right? In fact, horsemen don't seem like they're very good for a timed defense mission. Hmm. Gold mining? Ooh, that's a big one. Look at that. Do what we can. Oh, uh, no, no. Whoa! Alrighty. That is a lot of stuff. I am not taking my chances. How do I make my wall better? I don't think that I do. Is there a... Bloomery, Leatherwork, Sage Engineering. Alright, we're just going to start getting upgrades. That is a big old army. Let's get men with arms. And archers. I, only, I have 14 guys on food. Probably pretty good to start with. I have too many queued up workers and I'm actually ruining my economy as a result because I need to be making archers during all this. Cavalry don't seem great. I'm so scared. This is just such a big army. And I think it's got upgrades. Upgrade to early. Vanguard men at arm to early men at arm. Okay. The town of Granville succumbed to the French, and the English were pushed back towards Fleury. Check it out. This seems pretty good. I mean, pretty good is in, like, air quotes, because I, I feel like I'm going to die. This is the first time I don't have a leader, too, so I'm not going to have that big buff power. Oh, 
Let's get all the archers in their own control group, all the melee ready to fight. This is the only way into this position, right? Yeah, there's the back, but I'm pretty sure that just leads to where reinforcements come from. And hopefully I'm not going to need any farms anytime soon. Oh yeah, putting archers in towers does improve them, thank you. I knew that I had a reason for doing that and I had forgotten what it was. <laughs> Here it comes. Try to get them hit in the wall to begin with. Yeah, and then try to swing in and fight them while they're attacking the wall. And let's see if we can flank them. Not really. The units don't quite go where I want them to there, but I think that's a personal problem, not a pathing problem. Actually, I think we're going to be fine. Now look at that. Not a problem. Turns out towers are really good in video games. King Henry and his forces made their arrival at Flory. I don't even need him. Get out of here, Henry. You loser. Make me king. Unless there's going to be another wave of death. Oh. There's going to be another wave of death. himself was on the field. Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. Wow. Capture Grainville? Dude, I can't capture Grainville. You cray cray? They're slow motion walking guys. We can't fight that. Ah, oh, freaking Grainville, man. Also, what a poorly named place. That's so boring. I need to build up a crazy economy before I try anything like that. Yeah, we need a nuke. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? This is so much. There's no way. Is this the upgrades that they have? Like, is that what these little Clover Star things mean? Also, there's some audio problem over here. Either that or they're just like having a party. I don't know what's going on. It's like... <gasps> Not the house. They found it. That was our last bastion. So now I need to mine infinity lumber really, really quickly so that I can start farm infrastructure and have long-term mining. I guess if I'm going to get farmland, right, I want to do it at Grainville. It's named for it. And then we can advance to the Castle Age. Ooh, castles will probably be pretty good, right? I mean, I'm no... I'm no scientist, but I'm pretty sure that if there's a giant army, then you want castles. Take this one right here. We're just going to A move up there and figure out what happens. I don't know what this is. What is this fire? Dead spruce tree. No, that's the that's the dead spruce tree that's behind it. It's weird. And it does sound like when you click on them they say, I'm your worker. Determined to oust the English from Normandy, began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. Yeah, it's probably a good idea, though it would have been much easier if he had just decided to A move me. I feel like his tactical style is a little bit lacking. Or maybe he's doing a little bit too fancy. Hey, don't attack the hut. There you go. <laughs> the target priority sometimes is a little bit off. Where they just go for the... I guess that's exactly it. There doesn't seem to be a priority between combat and non-combat units in this game. So they'll just try to murder some huts. For no reason. As opposed to, for example, StarCraft 2, where non-combat units have a different priority. 
and will be ignored in favor of attacking things that can strike back. I'm not entirely sure how true that is. There might be a deeper underlying system there, but archers should not be attacking huts. I need to undo these towers. How do I ungarrison them? F? Cool. Let's try to take that town. So now that I'm doing pretty good on that, I need a bunch of farms. How do I build farm? Q, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. 20 farms. Wait. Ah. Uh, please go. Please go make them. Apparently, you cannot shift Q farms, or at least not the way that I tried. The armies are definitely very a movable in this game. I don't feel a need to constantly be watching the fights. There's definitely value in watching the fights, but if I have to go back to do something, I don't feel like I'm going to lose my entire army in half of a second, which is nice. That's definitely a problem with uh, other RT. Other RTS. King Henry's men struck at the French forces and recaptured the town. <gasps> Can we build crossbows? What is that? Anti armor specialist, low health. Oh, crossbows are going to be good. Dude. You know the Pope tried to ban crossbows at one point because they were too Imba? Like, that's a real-life balance discussion that happened at one point? That's one of my favorite historical facts. I don't remember which Pope it was. What costs gold in this game? I guess early men-at-arms? I don't know, I just don't like horses. I think they're kind of gross. So I'm not going to build them. So I have 26 people here. Oh, I have 12 AFK people. Oh, crap. Here he comes. So I'm just going to power out units then. I don't have time to think about dumb stuff. Even though that's all I do. Build another granary. Somehow. <laughs> I'm so bad at these buildings. Bill. Oh! These were workers! They weren't archers, they just have bows because they were hunting the enemy. I see how that works. Sure. Um. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah. I, I'm figuring the game out. Just, it's very, very slow. I'm very, very bad. Here he comes. We're going to lose a lot of supply here, but that's good. Because it means I won't have to build... Actually, I'm at 190 max house anyway, so it's bad. Thank you, Zeker, for the Prime Sub. Oh, it does look like there's upgrades for my towers here. Defensive arrow slits to the structure, defensive spring gold emplacement. I don't know what that is. And fortify. Okay, cool. Are these individual upgrades, or is it for all towers? Let's see how expensive it is. Plus 100 stone. Individual upgrades. Oh, that's kind of neat. It is pretty expensive, though. I'm not going to buy it. Because I'm having money issues anyway. Except for gold. I have way too much gold. But I know as, I, as soon as I pick people off of gold, then I'm going to have issues. So, I'm not going to do that. Though, I could use them to advance my age. To the castle age. Acts as a town center. With all the behaviors. White tower. Acts as a keep. 
Okay, we're gonna build the white tower. That sounds pretty cool. Because I don't need more economy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking Lord of the Rings as well. Then again, most things remind me of Lord of the Rings. It's really a shame that they didn't make any movies out of the other Tolkien books like The Hobbit, you know? That would have been pretty cool. It wasn't as good as Lord of the Rings, but it deserves an adaptation. I don't have a blacksmith, and I keep wanting to build a blacksmith, but then I keep forgetting. Oh, a blacksmith! Yeah, let's get that. I don't know where to put my hotkeys. Let's put that on eight. And this... Is there multiple buildings select in this? Like... And then can I tab through? Oh, I can. I can. Okay. Perfect. It works. I kind of wish there was some sort of, like, impending death timer. It's... Uh, really lackluster that this army is just chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cool, but not looking to actually fight me after school, you know? I would prefer to feel threatened right now. So we're advancing the age fairly quickly. We've got 10 guys on the thing. Oh, save the villager! Where'd she come from? Where'd she go? Oh well. So do we want to go to Crescentville yet? Maybe that's what happens is if I go to Crescentville, then he gets really pissed. He's like, you've crossed the last line. No, he's pissed right now. Okay. It's just the little raids aren't much. Wait a moment. Whoa! Workers do some damage in this game. Oh, that's just a scout. That's why. Man, they just citizens arrested that nerd, though. I'm pretty impressed, and they got bows, too. A new age begins! Armor clad. <gasps> Armor by three. That seems pretty good. And then we want barracks, 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 barracks. Oh, that seems good. I'm going to build a lot of men-at-arms. Let's get upgrade to men-at-arms. Okay. I don't really care about the spearmen. These are just going to be good against everything. Unlike me. Longbowmen to veteran longbowmen. Longbowmen seem incredible. That's just my first feeling of the unit. I might be incorrect there. Shouldn't I mind stone? Stone is for losers. What am I going to do with stone? The answer is yes, I probably should, but I'm pretty sure it's for like castles and stuff, and I'm going to go murder someone. I don't want to build defenses. Okay, does this icon right here look like a cat with a bow to anybody else? <laughs> what is this? I'm upgrading my cat bow upgrade. <laughs> That's wonderful. Where are all my workers? Whatever, I'll figure it out. It feels like the workers just talk to you for a really long time when you select them. I feel lady's just about ready to tell you her life story when you selected her. Can I upgrade to the last stage? I want to make sure that I am prepared for the fight. I don't have resources, I need gold. It's almost as if I stopped mining gold a long time ago. I have way too many guys on wood. This is classic economic mismanagement. 
Honestly, at this rate, I'm probably just going to go run for Senate because I'm so bad at managing an economy. Make sure you vote for me, especially if you're not American. I do need upgrades, though. I keep... It's just, it's so exciting to build new units. Wedge rivets. Ranged armor of all non... These are expensive, man. My income is only 165 per minute. With 22 Kais on gold. Increase the range damage. Don't care about that. We want, want the rivets. Wait, we could get an insulated helm? Oh, that's great. I'm not sure why that's going to help, but at least he's not going to be too vulnerable to the cold. With his little hat. I'm not sure that's what that means in this setting, but it sounds like it. Decarbonization. Increases the melee damage of all non-siege. Yeah, we want to decarbonize. Reduce the time it takes to produce infantry, cavalry, siege, and transport by 25%. Does not affect religious units. Okay. That seems pretty good. So my wedge riblets are getting built and then just keep getting more upgrades. Plus two attack range on archers seems imbalanced. But I really want to go fight. Crossbowmen. We're going to get regular bowmen because they don't take gold and all my money is going or all my gold is going to upgrades right now. Oh, what's this? I can build everything here. This is the Spring Gold. Long range bonus versus siege. Trivial damage versus buildings. Okay, we're going to siege our enemies. We are not. I'm supply capped. What if we unclick these guys and build a springy dinghy? Yeah. It costs 200 gold. You can fit your entire army on a hotkey in this game, can't you? That's pretty neat. Menegal. Effective against massed units must be set on fire. Or must be set up to fire. <laughs> Slightly different. Alright, I'm ready to go, I think. There's no way that I'm going to win this fight, but that's fine. Because wave number two, three, four, five, six, and seven are going to be ready. I have so much money. Hey. I can't really help because I'm maxed out. That sucks. I'll make one man at arms to go defend, and it won't work. Eight is a really bad hotkey for this. Increases the movement speed of siege engines by 30%. Fire damage to attacks against buildings. Doesn't seem great right now. I want that bonus range. Longbowman set up camp. Yeah, we're just going to get random stuff. We'll see how good this guy is. Dude. I mean, I know there's a war going on over here, but... Is he going to win the 2v1? Oh, this dude is going to crush it! <laughs> nice. Once again, it's just scout cavalry, but still. This is why you get your upgraded units. It's very important. They're coming to ram me. Oh, this is like a big ballista. I guess it's actually just a normal sized ballista. Oh, we're out of gold. We have found gold. One thing that is very, very typical for the Age of series I'm not actually a big fan of is the whole getting a bunch of... Oh, look at this! It fires in a arc thing kind of like Company of Heroes 2. Oh, that's weird. Doesn't quite work like I thought it did. 
Very cool. Oh, oh no! No, it's okay. It's not crashing. With the border towns recaptured, King Henry's claim to Normandy faced only one more obstacle. King Louis and his army. In the humble peasants' fields of Bremu, two kings would settle their claim to Normandy. Thank you, uh, Silver Sabretooth. I really appreciate it, man. Crying in a corner due to Devil's Playground because you forgot a Bane link. <laughs> um... Oh, we got a funky monkey. Automatic healing on. No, but he can't heal himself. Ironic. Okay, let's see how good these... Whoa! Oh, get wrecked! That's awesome! <laughs> For Devil's Playground, what you want to do is kill the south base as fast as you can. It's pretty easy during a lava wave, and then you can sit your things between the two other bases, and it's much easier to defend. Here he comes. Protect the siege units. Or they just won't fire. One or the other. Armor! I like these things. I don't know if they're good, but they're cool. Ah, uh, Louis gonna get wrecked, man. We're not even losing anything here. I'm just going to keep getting upgrades. I don't know what they do. It's kind of disappointing. We're going to charge it. I have so much money that I can afford to lose my entire thing. And I want to see if we can make it happen. No longer will we let him send the little attack waves and hemorrhage himself. Go, my men! We should wait for armor, but I'm not going to. Not that it wouldn't matter because he'd be stuck in the back when he tries to use it anyway. Pull back, pull back. I have more archers than he does, so the longer that we kite, the longer things go well. <laughs> How many races are there? Two humans and French. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so polite. <sighs> yeah, I wish he would attack me with his units. This is pretty disappointing, I'll be completely honest. I was looking for the epic battle to give myself a little bit more of a hard mode, and he's just uninterested. Oh well. Wait, how how passive is this guy? Can we just like snipe him? No, we cannot. However, we did almost kill him in three shots. If we had five of them, we could have sniped him. Oh, is he untargetable? Yeah, he's untargetable, I see. Yeah, this is the hardest difficulty. Far from home, but rallied by their king, the English army forced a French surrender and put King Louis and his knights to flight. With the impromptu battle ending in resounding victory for the English, King Henry had secured his ancestral lands under the English crown. Yay! We did it! Falconry and Hawking. Falcons are cool. I, uh, saw a Falconry thing when I was an Ilfracum once. Don't ask me why I was an Ilfracum, because I don't want to talk about it, but I did. It was cool. 
after England defeated the French at the Battle of Brimule, Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adelin, died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin Stephen saw his chance and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king. But Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day.